things that that people struggle with with sobriety is whether or not drinking connects you to everything because it maybe it mellows you out or you feel like you're part of things or it 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 holds you back and i'm kind of curious for you building on this concept of chill and all that kind of stuff did that play any part in your kind of decision around the concept of drinking absolutely uh so i have kind of an interesting relationship with alcohol that has e- evolved over time which is that my biological father was a very serious um abuser of alcohol and drugs which led to his death when i was 14 and he had a you know he had a very upsetting and unfortunate death which is you know he died alone in a bathroom and no one found him for 3 days like that sucks you know it's not a good way to go who you know that that was painful for me as someone watching him kind of sink further and further into that abyss so i had a starting at a very early age i i had a, a lot of assumptions and a lot of beliefs about alcohol and drugs and those beliefs were largely like i don't like that stuff and i don't want to do it so i spent you know my my teenage and early 20s years essentially being straight edge though i had no uh vocabulary for it everyone just knew oh christine doesn't drink and doesn't do whatever and but but I, but i do want to emphasize i was quite rigid in in my thinking and i think i had a lot of a judgment i had a lot of black and white thinking about being altered and what that meant and and i think i had a lot of preconceptions that that was fundamentally weak you know i associated it with sort of the these concepts of strength and weakness which you know i was a kid i was coping with it whatever so then i started touring i became a musician <laughs> and of course especially early days you know backstage you get a six pack and a bag of chips that you know and that that's it that's the culture and i was i was also around almost entirely men and i kind of conformed i guess now when we speak about connection the the early part of my drinking career or whatever i actually think was incredibly expansive for me i think it was a way of connecting um it disabused me of a lot of judgment that i had about what it means to be intoxicated and that was important for me i think with regard to my my development of gray area as an adult right which is like that's kind of what you do as a grown up is you just expand and navigate the gray area and you become curious instead of judgmental and and i think that's that's where my head was at now some kind of point got passed where to ian's point i started using alcohol sometimes as a way to disconnect you know where i think for many years i i used it in a way not only to connect to people around me but also to connect to parts of myself i hadn't explored <laughs> you know like in some ways uh i feel like it it did allow me to do that it also allowed me to get outside of these rules i had for how i'm supposed to act and who i'm supposed to be it gave me a little bit of flexibility and freedom there but there was some some point and it's hard to know exactly what that point was when i was like oh yeah i'm i want to be 10 feet outside of my brain and there's this stuff that's like in a can and it'll help me leave and that to me i was like okay that's not good that's not the point of this you know so i think it's kind of a mixed answer but there there was a period of time in which i think alcohol did provide connection and then and then it stopped yeah i i think for 
me the the way it was kind of, it was it was very similar which is and in fact including the rigidity you know when i was younger very rigid ideas about drugs and alcohol and later on when i experimented more with it alcohol in particular felt like it was a conduit to a whole type of experience that was was very very exciting like the idea that the night could just go anywhere and that you could start and make friends along the way and like leave with these like really fun experiences and it could bring people together and you would talk about it the next day and you talk about you know sometimes with some people I'll talk about things it's been like 10 20 years 30 years we talk <laughs> about the exact same the exact same things but but it was i started to notice after the fact not during that it was disconnecting me from some people because like as an example like i'd be going out and all i'd be thinking about was like okay the night is going to get expansive and drinking and whatever and and there was maybe someone out of town that was just coming to visit you know and say hi and i just was in a completely different mindset and you kind of start looking back and you think like how many people did you miss the connection with because your mind was mm. so focused on that thing and it's like I, it wasn't like I was trying to avoid anything, but but inadvertently, I think I think missed a lot of opportunities, and you know I, I hopefully didn't put off too many people. But that was for me, I think, part of the decision to be like, I don't know if this is going to work for me as well as I thought it was, you know, early on. Absolutely, and I think you know the feeling I had is like, oh, this this thing that's supposed to do. X which is like relax me and open my world it's not doing that so why the hell am i drinking it you know it's making me feel anxious and like stressed uh you know so i i i totally agree and i think it's interesting cuz a lot of my a lot of my friends have kind of had i mean no one no one had really exact my exact experience as a teenager but like m- many of my friends have been on a similar kind of path which is like you experiment you you understand what intoxication means what it does or doesn't do for you and after a period of time you're like you know what i i don't that that's not serving me um in the way that i that it once did or the way that i once thought it did <laughs> 